Okay, so let's take a look at CDP and LLDP on Cisco devices. So I've got a brief or a little network here set up. We've just got two switches. They're both Cisco 2960s. Now the only configuration I have made on these is I've set the uh, I've set some passwords. I've set a host name. I've set a banner. Nothing else. So this is stock out of the box configuration. All right. By default, CDP is active on. Cisco switches. Let's take a look at this. Now remember this thing is, I haven't done anything to this whatsoever other than set my banner, my passwords, and my host name. So let me issue the command show CDP. So CDP is active. We're sending packets every 60 seconds. We have a hold time of 180 seconds and we're using uh, CDP v2 advertisements. Now let me just take a second to remind you of what CDP is. CDP is the Cisco Discovery Protocol and it is used by Cisco devices to discover other devices that they are connected to. So let's use this. Let's do show CDP neighbors brief and this is going to give me a well just to show cdp neighbors this is going to give me a brief overview of my cd or my neighbors so i've discovered i'm on s1 here and i've discovered that i'm connected to a device on s2 named s2 my local interface is gigabit ethernet 01 capability it's a switch it's a 2960 switch and I'm connected to them on port G01. So this tells me who I'm connected to, what kind of device they are, what port I'm connected to them on. And if I look at it in more detail, show CDP neighbors detail, it'll give me more information, including what iOS version they're running, and if I would have configured it, the IP address of the device. Now, in one way, this is a really cool protocol. Because if you walk into a network and you know nothing about the network, you can do show CDP and it will show you every device that you are directly connected to. And then you can hop from device to device and you can map your entire network using CDP. And that's cool. There is a big downside. And that is if somebody else gets access to your network, a hacker, they can do the exact same thing. We call it a reconnaissance attack, where they're not actually trying to destroy anything or gain access to anything. They're just doing reconnaissance, and they're trying to discover the way your network is set up. And CDP gives you an option to do that. Now, um, the way Cisco's recommendation, actually, change thoughts here. Cisco's recommendation is you disable CDP. I actually don't know why they have even have it enabled by default. But there are two ways to do this. So from global config, we can issue the command no CDP run. And this will disable CDP entirely. Now if I do show CDP, it's not enabled. Show CDP neighbors, yep, CDP is not enabled. So this shuts it down across the entire device. And then obviously to get it back, I'd issue the command CDP run. Now I can also disable it on specific interfaces. So let's say I want CDP to be enabled on some interfaces but not all of them. Well then I'd go into the interface. Let me go into interface G02 and use it as an example. And I'd issue the command no CDP enable. And that will disable CDP on that particular interface. Doesn't take it out for the entire switch. It's just for that interface. So if I exit out and do a show run, find G02, and you're gonna see here we've disabled CDP here, but CDP is still enabled for everybody else. And I can still see my neighbors because they're on connected via G01. Um, G01, this one. So they're connected via G01. Now, CDP, Cisco Discovery Protocol, is Cisco proprietary. It only works with Cisco devices. So let me disable this real quick. No CDP run. And I'll just shut it down. Now there is a companion protocol or a parallel protocol. It's LLDP, which is the link layer discovery protocol. This is supported by um, 
by Cisco devices as well. But it is vendor neutral, so you can use it in a mixed vendor environment. So if you've got Cisco switches, Dell switches, HP switches, and you want the same capabilities or equivalent capabilities as CDP, but you can't use CDP because you have a mixed network environment, you can use LLDP. And let me show you how to configure that. So in global config, we're going to issue the command LLDP run. Now, whoops, not CD, thinking the wrong operating system. So let me issue the command show LLDP. And this will show me that LLDP is active. If I do a show LLDP neighbors, we're going to see that we don't have any. Well, that actually makes sense because we have an enabled LLDP on S2. Let's come into S2 and we'll disable CDP and enable LLDP. So config T, no CDP run, but we do want to do an LLDP run. And so now I'm going to exit out, provided I can spell exit show LLDP. All right, LLDP is running, but here we go. We have a uh, connection. Now notice this is pretty much the exact same thing that we were able to get from um, CDP. One difference that I want to point out to you right here is the capability. Okay, for uh, the Cisco one, it said S for switch here. It's B for bridge which is an old time term for switch. So um, that works just as well. Now, for if I want to enable or disable on specific interfaces, let me go to my global config interface G02. Now for CDP, it was no CDP enable. For LLDP, we actually have two different things. We have to disable transmit and receive. So it's no LLDP transmit and no LLDP receive. Um, obviously transmit means don't send out LLDP messages, receive means don't receive LLDP messages. So if we want to disable LLDP then we have to go through that extra step after we've enabled it to start with. Okay so now we've seen how we can enable or disable CDP and LLDP for the entire device and how we can enable or disable CDP and LLDP for uh, specific interfaces. Now, LLDP is going to have the same benefits and the same drawbacks as CDP. They are parallel protocols. So if you are going to use them in your network, make sure you have that in mind. Make sure you know what you're, and remember, CDP is enabled by default. So if you don't want it, you're going to have to go shut it down on your devices, at least if you're running Cisco devices. Um, so make sure that you know what you're doing with it. You might want to disable CDP or LLDP on all of your switch ports that are connected to uh, end devices just so that somebody can't try to run a reconnaissance attack using CDP or LLDP if they gain physical access to your network. You can enable it or keep it enabled and running on your connections between different uh, switches and routers. That can be beneficial. But again, think through and decide for yourself whether it's with the, worth the security risk or not.